is Tracy from Over One Games, and I am a little purple today. I am in my emotions. Okay, so the reason I'm saying that is because I am wearing my um, inside out dress. So of course I'm in my emotions. Okay, and I was kind of channeling some like, you know, Miko street racing here with the piggy tails. It's, I know, I know. I'm a 40 year old woman who just cannot help herself. I need to dress up in Disney to make myself feel whole. And yes, I realize how corny that sounds. So, thank you for joining me. And as you all know, we are all in a shipping crisis, a global shipping crisis. So, I think I mentioned this before that um, everyone should be behaving as if Christmas was tomorrow and start shopping for your loved ones now because, and I am so not in any way kidding, it's going to be like that, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, Jingle All the Way, where like crazy people are in the department stores fighting over one doll because there's not enough toys because that is a reality that we are slowly not so slowly sliding towards. I mean, we are absolutely serious. I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shipping containers that are just sitting at ports, not moving because there are not employees to, in, uh, you know, to investigate them and to make sure that everything is safe. It's coming through. And then of course the poor truckers, oh my goodness, COVID has really impacted the, you know, the trucking industry. So it's really hurting us at the retail level as well. But we stand behind our truckers, we do, because they are the backbone of retail. So, um, like I said, it's going to be jingle all the way, so I suggest you start shopping now. So, now that we've covered the global shipping crisis, let's talk about Disney fabulousness. Okay, so I do love the dress. When I first bought it, I wasn't 100%, but... I put a crinoline skirt underneath it and seriously all day nothing but compliments oh you're so cute every time you come in you look like a princess because yes I really do wear this out in public I go to dinner in it I go to drinks in it I shop in it this this is really me now mind you it's not just you know dresses and Disney um, I cosplay so, um, if you guys are going to LA Comic Con here in Los Angeles in December, you will see me cosplaying as Spider Gwen, and I will be rocking my bag, just so you know. And um, but I do I cosplay everything. We're talking anime, Marvel. I don't do DC. Sorry, 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 not sorry. Don't get me wrong. I love Wonder Woman. She's a real superhero, and I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. But with the exception of a few real superheroes, DC is, no, it's just DC. That's all I'm going to say. So you will see me cosplaying throughout the year, especially when the cool bags come out. Um, I'm really enjoying myself now. I love to buy the outfits and, um, and to accessorize. It's something I enjoy. You know, it's funny. People, they're like, oh, you're 40. And I don't get that a lot, but I'm, I mean, I know that there are people but just think about it in your in your teens you don't have any money of your own and I, my parents weren't into that wasteful stuff in your 20s you have money but you don't have money because that money is for school and bills and nothing else in your 30s you're building a home for your children it's all about them in my 40s baby i've got teenagers it's all about me i'm a princess well, actually, I'm a queen, and my husband makes sure that not only do I look like it, but I feel like it. So, ladies, don't hold back. If you want to cosplay or you just want that Disney dress, something that makes you feel beautiful on the inside and the out, do it for real because you can't take the money with you. And these days, we don't know how long we are going to be here. So now that we have covered all of that seriousness, let's talk about the bags, okay? Ooh, there's some serious heat coming out, guys. I mean, oh, 707th Street is bringing it with their all-over print Stormtrooper bag. Now, you guys remember, I showed you the video. I have an original with the heart decal. 
So of course I bought the 707 Street one because it's not identical. You will see it when it arrives, but it's not identical. So if you compare the two prints, the original, the print is much tighter. So there's lots of the Stormtroopers really close together. Whereas the 707 Street, they opted for a more widespread print. So less Stormtroopers, also trying to avoid the cutoff head thing. So I commend them for their effort. I look forward to the bag because I will rock that baby. I am a Star Wars fan like no other. In fact, I'm going to the convention this year, guys. You'll be seeing me cosplay. Yeah. And then, of course, we had um, Pink All Mode with their most recent um, exclusive, which was ka -chow! You heard me right. It was Lightning McQueen. And it was hot. I, of course, bought one. You know I did. Now, 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 for you new viewers, in case you didn't know, I don't buy every exclusive. I am a small shop owner. I own World 1-1 Games. So, I am a business owner. However, I am an avid collector because as you can see from all of my beauties, and there are nearly 800, nearly 800. Oh my goodness, I was counting them and I was like... I mean, I bought three new cubbies to store them and I was already like, oh my God, there's no more room. And I have like 25 bags on pre-order. <sighs> Ooh, yes, the second scoop, speaking of pink a la mode. So I'm so excited any day now, my pink ice cream sundae bag will be here and I'm so excited. I know it's silly, but I do love, okay, so for the lactose intolerant lady, I do love ice cream, okay? That's. Let me just say that. Preferably McConnell's, Santa Barbara. Good stuff. They're lemon marion berries to die for. So I do love ice cream. Okay, so I have made it kind of a thing where I collect the Minnie Mouse ice cream bags because, you know, Danielle Nicole makes them. And then, of course, Lounge Fly started making the treat bags. So I was super excited when Curtis Wilson from Pink All Mode, he's one of our favorites made the second well first scoop was the original release and of course I I had to get caught up in the second scoop but I still feel very happy because I did nab the bag um so I'm very happy about that and then of course I don't know if you guys just recently noticed uh, from my friend over at Cordy's Corner she did a Jaws bag I'm super excited oh my god it's for my husband you know loves that Jaws wah, 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 wah. Seriously, I mean, the movies, they're iconic. To have the bag is amazeballs. So I'm excited to have that one in my hands as well. And then, of course, um, it looks like Circle of Hope is doing a Jasmine with a Raja on the bag. Um, so that looks really cute. It does. I'll have to wait till I see it in person. You know me. Final thoughts are saved for the video. And then, of course, we're all like bated breath because... FunCon is coming up August 4th through the 8th. So this is how that works. If you had an account with Funko before May 15th of this year, okay, so May 14th or before, you are good to go. You are in the running to get a lottery ticket to enter FunCon and purchase these limited edition items. Now, mind you, so long as they don't all sell out during FunCon, there will be a general release at the end. So some of the exclusive bags, like there's a pink all mode bag, it's the beast. I'm getting it, you know I am. Totally getting it. Then there is um, three bags that are for loungefly.com and it is Jessie, and I need that for my Toy Story collection like nobody's business. So Lounge Life, you're listening. I'm one of your retailers. Don't forget me. I need that bag. Liz, Liz of Liz Designs, I need that bag. Like capital N-E-E-D, that bag. I mean, seriously, my collection will not be complete if Jesse is not in it. And then, of course, they did um, Thackeray B from Hocus Pocus, but in the cat form, and he's holding the black flame candle. So would you like to hear a very short but ironic story? 
So my second son, the one I brag about all the time, I mean, I brag about them all, but he's the one I call Beefcake. So his name is Brayden Thackeray Ruiz. I, yes, no, seriously, when I was pregnant with him, I watched Hocus Pocus so many times. Okay, and I did have like a teensy tiny little crush on the guy who played the human, not the cat, I'm allergic, the human Thackeray Binks. And I thought, oh, that's such a cute name. Oh, you would like to be named that right. So now I have Brayden Thackeray Ruiz. He's so cute. And then, of course, LoungeFly.com will also have the latest Sally cosplay bag. So she, okay, so there's some controversy if you've seen the IRL picture of this bag. She is threading a needle, but that is not what that looks like. It looks like she's smoking a doobie. Yeah. I mean, it's still really cute. But I can't lie, that is totally the first thing I thought when I saw it. I mean, we live in California. Pot is everywhere. But I seriously, it's the first thing I thought when I saw. It's the shape of the needle. It really, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it just really does. It looks like a joint. And that was like one of the things I noticed in the Facebook comments. And everybody was saying, oh my God, is Sally smoking a joint? No, guys, she's not. She's stitching herself back up. So it's a needle. <sighs> And then, of course, you guys know that we have an exclusive. We are going live with the uh, real live image on July 31st. It's going to be 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 1st. So you'll be able to see our super duper, extremely awesome. I mean, it's a whole new world. That's a clue. Just so you know. So now that we've covered that, let's get on to some bags. Whew, it was a lot of news today, wasn't it? Oh my God. So since there are not any new bags to show you, like, you know, from the Coraline or whatever, uh, I want to show you some great new pickups that I have managed off of Mercari, OfferUp, and eBay. So let me just say I am a little sad. I had bid on a um, Black Widow bag, right? And you know, it's a hard tag, you know, the plaque, because I don't do soft tag. And she accepted it. I was waiting for her to ship it. And then today, seriously, I got a cancellation notice. And I was like, WTF, OMG. Because I had others that I was watching on eBay that I stopped watching because I won on Mercari. This is what I'm talking about, guys. You can just, you never know. You never know if a seller is reliable or not. Because she had great reviews, but that doesn't mean that she's not going to cancel on me so that she can go and sell it on eBay for buku dala. And not to be ugly, but I did actually see her profile on eBay with the same bag. Only for like almost twice what I bought it for. And I bought it not for cheap either, like almost $170. So it's not like it was nothing. Ugh. Anyway, moving on. So this I got from Mercari. And it's awesome because I actually have a matching handbag and wallet. It's Hello Kitty. It's an all over print, the polka dot. It is super cute. And obviously it's a heart bag. Oh my God, I was so excited. Let me show you. Let me get close. Sorry, my water's in the way. Can you see that heart? And look at that beautiful print. OMG! So happy, so happy. Of course, it has side pockets right here. And you know what's funny is I know I've mentioned this in like other videos. Where <laughs> it seems to be a repeating stupid thing I do where I will slide my ID and credit card into the side of the bag and then put the bag back on the wall, forgetting that's exactly where my ID and credit card are. I have done it four times now. Four, okay? It's getting to be a problem. But I would not trade my side pockets. For that. So we have this beautiful black trim with silver hardware. And let's see what the lining looks like. 
And I was super happy because, you know, now that I have like literally the complete set, we're talking wallet, crossbody, and mini backpack. I'm like, ah, because you know how much I love my Hello Kitty. So it's bows. See how cute that is. And of course, it does have a zipper pocket on the inside. And you know how much I love fashion and function because seriously, I'm always carrying way too much stuff. So here she is, new whip tags. You saw me open it from the plastic. And I have to say, I kind of felt mildly mad because I really did get it for a bargain. But I'm happy I have it. Now next, this one I actually, okay. <laughs> so this one actually came from my store. And it's funny because normally, remember I told you before I started collecting, I was like, oh, I don't want to take bags from the store. You know, uh, what if a customer wanted it? So I waited and I waited and I waited. This is the last of the shimmery, shiny Cats and Marvel bags. And since I recently, remember the video, I had the green one and I was like, oh, now I need the regular one. So here it is. I snatched it from my own store. Last one. So I love that it's shiny because honestly, that's kind of like how her, the transition outfit that she ended up in, it is, it's shiny because she has, you know, evolved. So um, I think it looks really beautiful. We have this really beautiful um, red and blue and gold and all the trim, of course, on the top with the hardware is gold. And then we have our plaque right here, which is in red and the pockets, side pockets. Yes, of course. And this is just an added touch that I never noticed before until today, but there are these little like brads on the sides. It's, it's a very nice like textural touch and really draws into like her outfit. So, I mean, I do, I love it. It's super cute. And then of course, um, if you look at the back, the straps are not only blue, but they are also, if you can see them, red. So um, they did a really good job of breaking up all the blue with the beautiful red accents, the gold accents, and then of course, the, again, the red in the strap. It's so cute. Let's have a look inside. You know, the liner isn't everything, but it's definitely something. Aw, it's pretty. It is pretty, but I mean, it doesn't scream. It doesn't scream Captain Marvel. That's kind of the only thing. It is pretty, but it doesn't scream Captain Marvel. So even though I think that it's nice to look at, I don't understand the line. I do still love the bag. I do love the shiny bags. Ta-da! And we actually have a cosplay outfit for this. Because I think it was like a year and a half ago or whenever it came out in the theaters, probably two years ago, realistically. Um, we had a girl who cosplayed in the outfit uh, and then, of course, displayed the bags down at the movie theater in our local mall. And then, so this is a recent pickup. I, you know, now that I'm doing the Marvel bags, one must go all the way. I'm really hoping that Loungefly will do as my exclusive I'm waiting. I don't know if it's going to be approved or not. But I did request, you know, the, the Hulk, but the red and the green Hulk fighting cosplay. So it'll be like half red, half green. And then on the back, going around the sides, you know, like with um, different color hands, one red, one green in the back embroidered saying, Hulk smash! Because that is what I would like to see in a Hulk cosplay bag. That and like a nerdy Hulk. That would be cool. So this is Thanos. Okay, yes, I know. I suck at snapping. I really do. So we have our Infinity Stones. Um, and then, of course, our trim is black. Our hardware is gold. The bag itself is two different colors of purple. So this is like a darker purple, and then we have the um, the lighter. This kind of reminds me of like that Big League Chew Gum. It just does. Um, more black trim here. And then we have our gold accents. It really does look like um, his, you know, his costume or, you know, his armor from the movie. So it is very, very true to life, and I like it. And then, of course, it has side pockets and these lovely accents and gold on both sides. Let's have a look at the uh, inside. So it's the gauntlet repeated over and over again. 
And then of course it does indeed have a zipper pocket on the inside. So that is nice. Um, I do still need the red, um, I think it's the Iron Man, the Iron Gauntlet bag. I believe that's what it's called. And then of course I was able to nab this one. I should have got it when it was in my store, of course. But um, I didn't, so of course I had to go hunting for it. And it's the um, 40th uh, uh, anniversary edition Hoth bag. Um, it is super shiny and I love it. Okay, I love shiny stuff. I don't know if you guys have noticed, have you paid attention? I love shiny stuff. It's funny, um, you know, my son Colin, he has autism. And when he was little, he would like steal the silverware, change, anything shiny. And I was like, I don't know where he gets this obsession with shiny stuff is. And yes, we did realize it had like to do with autism. Um, but I love shiny stuff. So I kind of think I have something to do with that. Even though I know I have something to do with autism part too. But the shiny stuff, because I do. I'm addicted to it. If it's got, you know, sparkles or it's got glitter or it's holographic, I'm buying it. I mean, it's super cute. And now I just kind of feel like I need one of those latex do-ups with some go-go boots. <laughs> and that would look super cute. So, of course, here's the little symbols, if you look really close. They're little metal brads. And um, this is like quilted pattern. And as you can see, it is this beautiful holographic. And then, of course, we have the symbol up here in the top. Um, no side pockets. Okay, which is sad. Um, but that's okay. It does have the hard tag. If you turned around, so this is one of my favorite parts about this bag and the bags like it, is they have these interchangeable straps. So say I should, this one gets worn out and it does, you know, it's ugly and caca. Um, and I'm like, oh, but I love this bag and I want it to, to wear it more. So why don't I have started making like replacement straps for the crossbodies? But I have found that I'm able to use them also with bags like this. So, um, or you can, of course, turn this into a crossbody using the same hooks. So that is one of the things I love most about this bag. And obviously I haven't worn it yet because tags are still on it and the little strappies. So let's look at the line. So if you look really closely, you can see like the sky and then there's, ugh, let me get it, the walkers right there. See, that's super cool. And let's see, is there a zipper pocket in this one? Yes, in the back there is indeed an internal zipper pocket. So as you can see, this bag is super beautiful. I love that holographic effect. I know not everyone does, and I mean, it doesn't have to be everybody's cup of tea, but it's definitely mine. So it's super gorgeous. And it goes with so many things because again, it's like a silvery color, so it's easy to accessorize. Okay, next up, um, I know I need to like plump it up with some filling. So I did a trade with a friend, <clears throat> my friend Kylie. And um, so she has a big thing about Marie, but this was like her least favorite. So she was willing to make the trade. But as you can see, it is super cute. It is a hard tag bag. It's the Marie floral print. So she is printed on top of a floral print. And then it has this... Um, the emblem up here, the M for Marie, which is unusual because, uh, and that's how you know this is an older bag because the newer bags don't do that. You either get the plaque or you get, you know, the emblem, um, not both. So this is really cute. And um, so the hardware is rose gold, see? And straps are like a pale pink. And let's have a look at the inside. You know, I'm just, as a collector, I'm not going to like obviously collect every single bag because there are just some bags that I just cannot, I'm not going to wear it, so I'm not going to buy it, okay? Um, but uh, there are certain licenses that I am particular about that I have to have all of the bags regardless, okay? So this is kind of one of them. So it's just pink polka dots, as you can see, very nice. Um, this is one of the older bags, but to be honest, it doesn't feel any different as far as quality of the vegan leather. It does not have side pockets again, so it's kind of a bummer. 
Um, but it does have the OG pocket, but if you look really closely, you can tell how much larger this pocket is than all the other OG pockets. And I think it's because of like the design of the bag. It's not really rounded. It's kind of like a rounded square. So, but yeah, the pocket is definitely much, much bigger than your standard OG pocket. Okay. And then last but not least in the bags department is this highly underrated, um, Wally bag. It has a cute Wally and a cute little Eve and they are embroidered. You can feel it. And I do love that because for me, texture means a lot. This is that ultra soft vegan leather. And I do mean ultra soft, but look at the pattern. It's got all the little planets. It's really cute. Um, so the plaque is on top. The only thing I'm not crazy about, and let's be honest, is this flap pocket. And that's just because if the magnet should wear off, um, your stuff's going to fall out. So it would be different if they had put like a little zipper inside too, just to really secure your stuff. Cause that, that's kind of what I would have done. Um, but still it's a beautiful bag. So if you look on this side, you have the little plant symbol. And in this side, Wally is chasing after Eve. And on the back, more beautiful planet prints. And again, it's very soft. So it's going to be very comfortable to wear. And comfort is very important. It really is. Um, and so we have our blue straps and let's look at our lining. Aww, it's plain. Sad face. Sad face. But that's Wally, highly underrated, super cute. And again, that one is from my friend Kylie. Okay, so now this is a non bag. These are ears. Let's open them up. So my store is actually going to be commissioning some ears Ooh, ah, to go with some of our exclusives coming out. So we're pretty excited about that. So this is the Steamboat Willie. Obviously it's the men's hat. Mm. Sorry about that. Gonna move the tag. That did not quite do what I wanted it to. So it is really, oh, not in the hair. Really cute. Um, so the Steamboat Willie bag came with um, his and her ears. These are obviously his. And um, so all my hers ears, I, I sold them out. So they're all on their way to their customers. But as you can see, this is very high quality. They have like the, um, the braided rope all the way around the edges. And then this is plushy. It's super, super comfortable. Um, they did a really good job. Like I can't even feel them other than the tag hitting me in the back of the head um, that they're on. So they are very comfortable. They are super cute. And as soon as the bag gets here, it'll be amazing. So let's give you like a close-up look of the really cute print. And I do love the print. Uh, honestly, I would have loved it if they had made this an all-over print bag. Um, I would have absolutely loved it. So as you can see, like I said, it's a real, you know, braided rope and it's very pretty. It's very shiny. Um, and I love, you know, you can feel the details. You can see the details. Um, it really offsets the print, uh, you know, on the leather ears. Um, and then of course this plushy little hat, it just, it's just another textural element and it's just very beautiful. Um, I don't have to be a dude to wear them. I just think it's really cute that they did make his and her ears. So, and of course these are lounge fly. So it's Disney lounge fly. Very comfortable. And that, my friends, I believe is all I have for you today. But I do hope that you will check back in because any day now we have the sequins bag coming. We have the baseball bags coming, the Jasmine's castle bag coming. Um, so many bags. So you have to come back. Okay. Cause we, we love you here. And again, I'm Tracy from world one games and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.